and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, just making a really simple, easy mushroom curry. It's got some lovely little spices in it. Doesn't take long at all. Let's get moving. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to be using today. At the back there, we've got obviously the star of the show, our mushrooms. I'm just using a regular white mushroom. I've sliced them. You can cut them how you want. You could dice them up if you wanted. Onions, I'm using red. You could use a white or brown, of course. And tomatoes, chopped. That's going to kind of create our sauce. I try and use a nice ripe tomato. In there, I've got a little bit of chopped garlic and ginger. In here, I've got some fresh mint. Or if you wanted, you could use some fresh cilantro. Fresh chili. Our whole seeds today, I'm just using black mustard seeds and a few cumin seeds. And then our powders. Only three powders today. Chili powder, turmeric, and coriander powder. Roughly equal parts. I'm going to start this off with a little bit of oil. I'm going to add some salt. We may add a touch of water, depending on how juicy our tomatoes are. Let's go and do it. Okay, so I've got a touch of oil in here. You can use any oil that you want. I'm using uh, sunflower. We're heating that up. We're going to get in our whole seeds. So that's our cumin seeds and our black mustard seeds. I just want to throw them around in this hot oil just for a few seconds. They'll infuse the oil. They'll pop and crackle and do their thing. There they go. Just turn the heat down a little. Now we're going to go in with our onions. And that chopped garlic and ginger. I finely minced my one, but you could do it much chunkier if you wanted. That's why we're here, giving a little bit of salt in there. And on a, just below medium heat. We'll throw these around in the pan just for like two minutes. Just get them on their way. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my chopped or sliced mushrooms. And again, two to three minutes. Let's just throw these around in the pan. They will reduce and depending on the type of mushrooms you're using, they might give off a little bit of moisture. So as you can see, they reduce down a little bit. And you can hear this moisture coming out of there. We're now going to go in with our tomatoes. Our powders, which if you remember were turmeric, chili and coriander powder. Or you could add a little bit of cumin powder to that or use a curry powder mix of your choice. I'm also going to put in that I mean, it's pretty optional that the fresh chili, if you like it or not. Now, three to four minutes, just turn the heat up a little bit. What should happen now is those tomatoes will break down as they cook, give off a little bit more moisture, and we should end up with a nice gravy, or a little bit of gravy. If we don't, we're going to add a little bit of water, but it depends on how juicy our tomatoes are. Okay, well, as you can see, I've done really well here. I've got lots of moisture from my tomatoes and a bit from the mushrooms as well. And like I say, if you haven't, don't worry, just a little touch of water will do the trick. So we're pretty much done. I'm going to just now add that fresh herb which today I'm using mint, but like I say, cilantro would also work. Off goes the heat. You need to check that for salt. 
And there you go, you've got a really simple little mushroom curry. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Helps us out a great deal. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?